contrary to popular belief and many medical shows, not every patient gets defibrillated. Only those that enter ventricular fibrillation have the honor of being shocked back to life. Now, you may be wondering, what do I need to know all of this? Well, it's going to be because of the next thing that I'm about to tell you. It's very serious, so please pay attention. Several hours ago, I um, received a virtual textual communication from a Dr. YouTube, letting me know that the Potter Who Alliance YouTube channel was experiencing cardiac arrest, as evident by the ventricular fibrillation that the doctor noticed on the EKG scan. Now, as a certified CPR professional, responsible adult, and future healthcare provider, I decided to act and perform an emergency 1.21 gigawatt defibrillation to bring the channel back to life. And this is me performing said operation. No, I'm not going to actually bring out paddles and, you know, do the thing to YouTube because that might not work out well and that might kind of shut it down. So we're just going to do a video of me talking and we're just going to say that that worked, okay? Awesome. So while I'm here, I needed something to talk to you guys about aside from my little mini medical rant. So I'm going to tell you how I spent my winter break. Along with 21 of my classmates, I went to the amazing and beautiful country of Belize for about two weeks to participate in a medical mission. Now, apart from setting up clinics and talking to patients, we visited Maya ruins, pushed buses from their demise, crawled into holes that seemed a little too small, kissed nurse sharks, and even ate termites. Now, if you want to know how those termites tasted, sorry, I just can't tell you. But if you really want to know how those termites tasted and you don't trust Google or Wikipedia, you're going to go to my blog, studyandbelief.blogspot.com, and read all about it. Okay, so I think that's okay for our first defibrillating bringing back to life video. And right now I'm going to go and finish reading my book for a project that I have in two weeks, and because I'm an overachiever, I like to get things done. The book is called... Overdose America. 